good morning welcome back to a new vlog so it is chilly and i am here for it considering i decorated for christmas last night or yesterday it took the whole day it was so much fun though um i was so tired by the end of the day i slept so good i went to bed at like 9 45 <laughs> and i woke up at like 6 40 which was perfect because, like, it gets so bright now early and dark early. I'm like, I'd rather just go to bed early and wake up early. Like, I'd rather just take advantage of the brightness, you know? But anyway, so I ended up not using one of the things I bought from Target the other day. So I want to go return that. And then, guys, I had, like, the most massive brain fart. I <laughs> when I went to Target to look at the... Christmas decor I didn't go to like the back of the store with all the Christmas stuff I just you know how they have like the like hearth and hand magnolia you know threshold stuff I didn't even think about like the whole Christmas section in the back with like the trees the ornaments like the wreaths all that important stuff <laughs> I was like I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't, um, but I figured since I'm gonna be going there to return this, I'm like, I may as well go scope that section out um, because in particular, I need to get a wreath for the front door. I, I really wanna get like a really nice wreath though, like one that like really calls to me. So, you know, we'll check Target. If not, I was thinking about going to Walmart or at home, maybe um, Home Goods. I'm really not sure, but since I'm going to be at Target, I may as well take a little gander and I want to look at all the cute Christmas stuff in the back. I just want to like see what they have this year. Um, again, there's really not much that I need now, which is amazing. Like I had such good luck at Michael's yesterday and I got, got so much on such great sales. So yeah, we'll do that. I'm also contemplating putting garland around our front door or around like the poles. I'm not really sure how I want to decorate out front of the house, but we also need to put the little um, suction cup candles in the windows. So kind of just finalizing like the outdoor parts. If you guys missed yesterday's decorating video, that was like the big one. It was like a whole day affair. Um, but I showed from Amazon this like swag for your mailbox that like lights up. It's I put it on, it is so cute. Like that was such a cute find. I've never seen something like that and I just love it so much. So really happy with that. Um, and it was just so nice waking up this morning. Yarman, Yarman gets up before me. He gets up at like five sometimes. And he was just like, it looks like a wonderland downstairs. I'm like, yes, that was the goal. <laughs> That's the plan. Let's go ahead and pop on over to Target. Okay, so honestly, Target was like pretty dry. Um, I mean, they had some really cute stuff, but just nothing that I really needed. Um, I ended up, I, I had grabbed that little tree, but I ended up putting it back. Cause I was gonna put it in my office and I'm like, I don't think it will fit with the slanted ceiling. I don't know the word for that. What is that called? <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, so I put that back. Um, I ended up, <laughs> I literally just got stuff for the dog. I got him two advent calendars because they're both 12 days so i thought we could like do it in december through the 24th i will have to resist giving them to him now <laughs> but um definitely gonna make bruno a little stocking this year 
get him some presents. It's his first Christmas. Um, and then, yeah, so they had one wreath that I had shown. It was really cute. It had like pomegranates and oranges, like cinnamon sticks. It looked really festive, but like, I just don't feel like it's gonna flow, especially if I wanna put garland around the door. I feel like it needs to kind of match. So I don't know. I am gonna go over to either at home or home goods because they always have really good wreaths and like, I just wanna get a really good wreath. <laughs> All right, I decided to go to at home because I know I like a lot of their stuff when I kind of peaked last time. So let's see the full amount. That's so cute. I can see my mom having that. I like that too. This is pretty. I don't know. The flowers are just kind of off though. I like it without the flowers. But they have a lot of cute stuff. I really just don't need anything else. But they have a lot of pretty stuff. <laughs> the elf legs. Okay, I'm definitely grabbing these two reindeer for our front porch. Because I have that joy sign from Amazon. And then with these, it would be so cute. Imagine I just put a huge poinsettia on the door. That's kind of iconic. Oh, this is pretty. I just think I want a traditional wreath though. Like I was very drawn to this, but like I just want a traditional wreath, I think. I don't know. I'm really not sure, but I love these reindeer. I know that much. I got a ton of garland. Here are some wreaths. Ooh, these are pretty. I think I want to do red since I have the red joy sign, a little bit of red here. Okay, I found my wreath and garland. It's a hot mess, but I'll show you guys when I get home. All right, I'm home. Guys, it was a struggle and a half <laughs> at the checkout line. Um, so I had a gift card and something they've never seen before. <laughs> the gift card code, like the little pin code was invalid. 45 minutes um, of calling different phone numbers and managers and stuff. And after that, they were like, I feel bad making you wait here. <laughs> if you want to go, we'll call you when we get this sorted out. It was like, oh my God, it was such a struggle. And like, <laughs> I feel I feel bad for them, honestly, because like, I know they're doing everything they can. They were so nice. I felt so bad. We finally got through to a customer service number because they're gonna have to get like a new card. They called and validated the amount on the gift card and I would have left or like just paid cash, but like I had a lot on the gift card. Um, and they like validated the amount, but like the card would not go through. So we waited so long and then they were like, do you live nearby? Do you want to just come back later? So I'm like, okay. But anyway, um, I'm starving. I'm gonna make myself some lunch. So I bought, I got ads for, on TikTok for protein ramen from Immy. It has 21 grams of protein and it's like ramen noodles like the spice pack, the noodles. It's made with pumpkin seed protein. So um, I'm curious. The ingredients are pretty simple. So I don't know. It had mixed reviews, um, but I love ramen noodles. So if I can have a protein version, that's like the dream. I read the noodles are like a little bit chewier, but like that's fine. Definitely different. <laughs> I mean, naturally, it's not gonna be like a ramen noodle. But it doesn't really have like a flavor. It's just probably gonna be like a different texture. So anyway, stay tuned. I'll let you know if these are good. I got them on Amazon. Hello, you guys. It's the next morning. So I washed my hair last night and I slept with it in like a loose bun and it's kind of a mess. So I'm going to curl it. I'm going to use my new Sephora makeup and we're just gonna do our makeup and hang out and then I'm gonna film my office is a hot mess so please ignore like I have my Christmas stuff I haven't like decorated my office yet for Christmas because like I like to have it as the background for like reels and stuff um but I haven't done that yet and I have like a bunch of packages I just got like a, a lot to do in my office because I've been focusing on the rest of the house but if you guys missed it I had done a little Sephora haul a few vlogs back and we're gonna play with some new makeup and I'll let you guys know if it's good. I haven't used this face mask yet, that's for another time. But I've got like a little bit of everything and I'm really, really excited to play. Okay, I grabbed Luminous Silk for the first time in so long because I haven't had it. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of milk, Hydro Grip. So yesterday, <laughs> 
the update with at home. They called me at the end of the day and they're like, we're still figuring this out. And they're gonna call me today. They're like trying to get it transferred to a new gift card. They've like never had this happen before. The whole thing is just like wild. I know it looks pale. My face is just red. My face is just red. It matches my neck perfectly, which is all we care about. Oh, so pretty. See, I'm like, I'm hoping they call me today. <laughs> It's, I don't know why it's like giving me a little anxiety just like because it's like unfinished business, you know? I don't know. Just because like they have the gift card and you know, it's always like I'm always afraid I'm gonna have to like explain myself because they said a different manager will be in today and they were literally talking to like corporate, like it was just a whole, a whole mess. <laughs> but anyway, whatever, whatever happens, happens. I really appreciate how much time they've been putting into this. I just, I feel bad they couldn't just like transfer it to another gift card like they couldn't because the pin did not match the gift card like it was a faulty gift card so oh, anyway oh on a bright note this foundation is beautiful i spent this morning editing my decorating video it ended up being like 30 minutes and i hope you guys love it <laughs> it'll be up by the time this is up i don't feel like plucking my brows so we're gonna just shave them deal with it in a few days so i have a new concealer as well i feel like everyone raves about the kosas concealer so i got it it's the reveal super creamy in the shade 2.5 you guys have probably seen like everyone use this so looks like a good color it has some peachy undertones so that should hopefully cancel out any darkness I still be doing a lot of concealer sometimes. Oh, and I finally got like these little triangular powder puffs on Amazon that like also everyone uses. I learned so much fun new stuff on TikTok, but they really do like just bake so much better. Like you can really get in the nooks and crannies. Okay, Bruno. <laughs> Definitely a pretty concealer. I don't feel like it's like really full coverage though. I still feel like I have a little darkness coming through, but the formula is very creamy and blendable but i feel like it's pretty similar to my elf hydrating camo concealer i don't feel like it's that different all right and i'm going to just bake with the puff and you can get like a nice contour on your nose if you want to bake there the triangle shape is definitely a game changer okay so while we bake i got the contour wand from charlotte tilbury another viral product here that everyone loves so the medium to dark was sold out i got the fair to medium because i'm pretty fair so hopefully we like it it's just got like a little spongy tip and you can I think, just squeeze the product through or do you twist it oh <laughs> there it is all right so i always oh that's a good color match okay cool i do i always see people just dotting this on their face and i'm like i want it <laughs> let's see how it is oh it's pretty pretty color very natural easy to blend i like this this looks really pretty okay i'm just going to set my forehead oh i can't forget before i set with translucent i have the liquid blushes also from rare beauty i don't know why i baked before this but all right this little trio was a really good deal and it came with these three colors this big one is called encourage this one is called truth and then this one here is called happy and like a little bit goes a long way with these so i feel like the mini size is just plenty and i really like this color i feel like it's kind of neutral and i've been putting things up higher because i did it with like a filter and I loved the way it came out. So did you guys. So a little bit of this goes like a really like, oh, it spreads out so much. But this color is gorge. Like it's such a pretty color for like fall and winter. Oh, I love that color. Okay, so I have my face set. It looks so pretty. Like I love those products. So I also grabbed the Refi brow sculpt which is also super super popular it's gonna give my brows a more laminated look but i probably like i'm hoping i don't mess this up since i already have my foundation on like i feel like you should do this on like clean naked brows so i'm like 
to try to just like take the foundation off of my brows. We can always clean up around them after, but I don't want them to like, you know, get like patchy and have foundation in them. It has the little tool and the product. I love a fluffy brow. Lately, I'm just here for all the fluff. You can kind of like brush it down. Oh, wow. Okay, I love this. I love this. That looks good. Okay, I like this. <laughs> okay, next, I am most excited about this. I don't know why, I just, I love Hourglass face products. So I got this palette here, the Ambient Lighting Unlocked palette in the elephant one. <laughs> it had different animals. So I love this because it has everything. So we've got like bronzer, blushes, highlights, setting powders, and their products are so, so beautiful on the skin. So let's start with a little bit of bronzer just to set the cream. Like all their products look so natural. They give a really nice like lit from within look. And then we'll go in with some, I'm gonna mix both of these blushes on top. Oh, quite pigmented, more than I expected. Just soften those up a little bit, but beautiful, oh my gosh. And I am gonna take some translucent powder and bake away under here. Whenever I cream contour, I feel like baking afterwards really helps it like snatch because I am shooting reels after this, so I want it to look snatched. All right, and let's try the highlighter. So beautiful, this like baked, oh, gorge. And it's not like shimmery, it's just like, oh, I don't know, it's just very glowy. It's not like you just have like big flecks of glitter on your face, you know? This palette would be perfect for travel. I have a few trips coming up during Vlogmas, so I hope you're excited. And all right, here's the skin. So I'm gonna go do my eyes because I don't have anything new, and then I'll use my new lip combo at the end. Okay, I just threw a little bronzer in the crease, a winged liner, white liner in the waterline, and the lashes are Pompadour from Kiss. So my lip liner is Makeup Forever Up and Down Tan, and then I'm gonna do the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. I have used the Makeup Forever um, they're the artist color pencils, like you can use them in different parts of your face. They're really, really, really good. But I don't think I've used this color, but I know it's popular. That's a nice color. Very natural. It like kind of blends in with my lips. Okay, pretty. Mm, okay, there's that. Now let's try this. I've been really into like hydrating lip products lately just because we are moving into winter and my lips have been getting dry. But yeah, this is plumping, it's a lip balm, it's got color. All right. Oh my God. It looks like something that you need to push down on and you do not. Like it is, oh my God, it is not firm. Oh, oh no. Ooh, pretty though. <laughs> well, it took a little detour. Okay, yeah, this is totally, yeah on my tongue oh god and it's plumping Ooh. so this is totally like different than what i expected um like i expected it to be like a chapstick consistency with just like a little bit of glow this is like a, a just a solid lip gloss <laughs> um it's wicked pretty like i love it and i love the color the shade is called bare glow it's really pretty it feels nice on the lips. It's like giving a little bit of a tingle, but not too much. <clears throat> it's very comfortable, very pigmented, very nice. Just different than what I expected. But um, yeah, I like it a lot. It's more of a gloss than like a chapstick though. So be warned, but I am, I'm going to the salon next week to get more highlights put in because it's, you know, obviously they did an amazing job, but it's not as bright as it used to be, obviously. So I'm excited to have more put in for the holidays. I still can't believe the hair transformation that we went through. They're so good, so good. Anyway, I'm gonna do my hair with my beach waver and do some filming. And my mom is gonna come over later because she wants to see our Christmas decor 
and we're gonna watch Bachelor in Paradise. All right, my hair is done. Just kind of like let them set. I sprayed them already, I brushed them out. Oh, I love that, I love the beach waver. I'll link it down below again, this thing is so good. Oh, hello, you want to say hi? He thinks he's very small. He loves to sit on my lap and just lay here. You gotta get groomed next week. Your hair is getting so long, so luxurious. Oh, don't you just love when your dog like lays their head on your shoulder? Time to film, time to film. That'll be over on my Instagram and TikTok. All right, you guys. <laughs> what are we updating them about? Well, I was gonna tell them about the front door. Like oh, how good it looks. Oh, it's beautiful. So I won't show you guys my front door, but I did find an inspo pic. So I'll insert that. That's like the vibe. My mom and I just did it with the door. I did. She came over <laughs> as I was finishing it up where the, um, where we connected the garland has like some bald spots. So we want to go get like some, I don't know, like bows or bows something. Bows or to balls go or. Bows and balls. Just something red or a little fake poinsettia or something. Yeah, we'll find something. We just need something because it's a bald spot. But when you step back, it's a bald spot. More than anything though, guys, <laughs> on one side of the door. I oh, girl, I cannot with you. She has this beautiful <laughs> sign, this wooden oh. sign that says joy. I love it. You open it up like a picture frame and it's kind of propped with that little thing the wrong color it's maroon all my and everything stuff else is, red. is red that bothers I me i totally get that like i know that might sound like silly silly but here's the thing i, I like the sign i'm just gonna put it inside yeah. i just don't want it outside so now we're on a mission for a nutcracker i came up with a brilliant idea of a five foot nutcracker that was her idea i want a giant nutcracker and it's funny because my friend just told me she has a five foot tall nutcracker wait yeah. You didn't tell me that. Yeah. I know it was kind of you funny. You didn't even tell me. No, I didn't tell Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. When did you find out? Last week. Last week and you're just telling me? We've been <laughs> talking about this five foot nutcracker for like the last hour and a half. I don't know why I didn't think to tell you. Girl. <laughs> I got too excited about oh, it. Oh, Dollar Tree. I need some uh, best tracing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cut on my finger. Oh. Anyway. Ooh, yeah. So now we're going on the hunt. The so hunt, the hunt. this is pretty much the, the hunt, last the hunt, Christmas the place I haven't been to. Uh, home goods. Christmas tree shop. Oh, true. That's a good spot. Well, there's many more places we could go. But we're going to Home Goods. We're on a mission for a five foot tall nutcracker <laughs> or something tall for one side of the door so to mountains it out. We got the deer on one side. We need something on the other yeah, side. Yeah, so there's two deer on one side. One's like small and one's medium. So we figure on the other side we need something large. Yeah. You have to balance it. That I do way. think a red nutcracker would look stunning. Stunning. Oh, that is so cute. Hi. Oh my gosh. Yeah. With his nose. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Okay, but like look at this wreath. This is so pretty with like these little right see yeah snow i know them. they're so cool and snow on the <clears throat> you can't go wrong with home goods Ooh. look at this big wreath oh i love that yeah that big wreath that big mama and then this big mama oh my god guys like this <sighs> might be it it might be it wait let's turn that over so they judge <laughs> they'll judge me anyway they always do little star on the side Look and it match that. it matches it's so red, perfectly like that's setup. that's the garland and she has a lot of kids in her neighborhood you know you got a lot for trick-or-treating right yeah so, they can all come put letters they in can all come put their oh oh god and then you can take it out and give it to the parents so they can read it and keep it for like a treasured moment oh my god yes right oh my god okay we're gonna check christmas tree shop before we commit oh mom what about this guy You like it? They have that nutcracker. I like I like him more. <laughs> He's kind of iconic. I kind of I like him. This is such a goofball. He's very goofy. Big goof. They have a lot in here. They got everything in here. I'm glad we came here. I get a rocking horse. Guys, they have the exact same one at Christmas tree shop, but it's a little mini version. I love it. So perfect. 60 bucks instead of 300. <laughs> So we'll get this, and then I'm thinking I'm gonna order a nutcracker online because the one at Home Depot. Nutcrackers. Oh, they're small nutcrackers. Too small? Yeah, too small. We want like a statement nutcracker. Big Mama. Some candy canes. Train station. Go. 
Oh it's a Christmas god. wonderland. This is amazing. Look at that archway. Oh my god. Oh my Should god. we just like be so extra? Oh Should we just get one of these Santas? Should we just go like full out? <laughs> That's not bad at all. They're poseable. Like you can bend their arms and stuff. Oh, they're very... Oh, he talks? Oh, he talks. Oh, That's iconic. Oh, mom, look at another light. Look at another mailbox. It lights up. Oh, wow. I like ours better, though. Lights are distracting. <laughs> All right, I'll see what we find. I really am just feeling the nutcracker, oh, though. Oh, like Grandpa loves uh, snow globes. Oh, okay. Oh, it like blows around. Cute. Oh, why is Christmas just the best? It's just a happy time. So happy. I don't know which way to go. Oh, look at this little Santa. I like him. He's cute. Yeah. He's really cute. Look at all this. This is all like the vibe. Yeah. Oh. oh. What about Welcome to the North Pole? You oh, that's to the so mailbox. cute. <laughs> I like that better than the. You like it better than the Nutcracker? I, like the I think so too. Oh my god, I love it. Wait, I don't know if I, I don't see it down here. Do you have any more of the Welcome to the North Pole things? Okay, we decided on the Noel. The Noel. It's all the colors of everything we have. It's perfect. Love it. Hey guys. Okay. I took a few days off from vlogging um, because it was just super busy with all the decorating. So I kind of just took the last few days to just do some house stuff. Um, and I went to a comedy show with my mom. Last night we went to see John Mulaney, which is our favorite, favorite comedian. Um, we've seen his show before and it was great. It was so good. <laughs> so funny. Um, so that was really fun. And yeah, I'm wrapping up this vlog, so I was just editing it, and I'm gonna start another one because I have a fun little project to do today. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We ended up getting the front of the house perfect. It looks so cozy. Um, I wish I could show you, but I just I'm just not comfortable with it. But uh, yeah, that's that's the tea. And lots more of fun Christmas content coming. The weather is nice and cold. It just, oh, it feels so Christmassy. I love it. And there's a lot of good stuff coming. So stay tuned. I love you. And I'll see you soon. Bye.